What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your second Angular 2 tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to write a simple hello world program in Angular 2 using JavaScript. Well, you can make use of Angular, uh, you can make use of TypeScript in Angular 2 as well and Dart as well and the vanilla JavaScript as well. Well, I'm just gonna make use of the simple JavaScript so as to familiarize you guys with the Angular 2 because you know this language is a bit new and if you have come from Angular 1 you have only used uh, JavaScript like you have made use of controllers and directives and there's nothing as such like controllers and directives in Angular 2 so everything is kind of different but it's simple so if we go to this official website to take a look at the documentation and if I switch it to angular 2 for JavaScript right there it saves me five minute quick start and it shows me a structure how the files should be laid down don't worry we don't need all of those then we have this package.json well this package.json if you know that's good but for those of you who don't know what this package.json is that if this file would just contain all of the information about your project for example these are the dependencies required for angular and this is the name of your project the version and the developer dependencies and all that stuff so how this is useful well consider this let's just say you have written a project for your company and you're just giving the code with the whole source to somebody else or from your workstation in your office you are just emailing yourself this project and uh, on your computer at your home you don't have all of these things installed well one way is that you go to each and every website and look for a CDN then link every script download that and that is kinda hectic and tedious the other way is that you create a package.json file and use a node package manager npm and just install it right away with a single command. So what you need to do is the next thing is that you need to install or basically download something known as npm and for this you just need to go to this nodejs.org website and download the latest table release you'll see a green button down there just download that setup it's a GUI setup you just have to click next 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 and you'll be good to go well once you are done with this and I guess we could just trim this file a little bit we don't need the developer dependencies for now we don't need these scripts and for the dependencies, um, I don't think we need any of those. Alright, so, so here's what we need for this one. Well, the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate to my folder. And there are a bunch of open right there, right? So, here's my folder. I'm going to hold my shift key and hit right. And I'm just going to click on this open command window here. If you don't see these two that means you don't have git installed don't worry this would work as well so just hit here and right here what you need to do is write npm install and hit enter all right once you have done that you'll see this new folder node modules and once it is completed just wait for it to complete as you can see it is completed just uh, minimize this thing and uh, yeah so we have got these two folders angular 2 and rxjs and if I just go back to the documentation and go down we have done all of that stuff well here's our code for hello world but first of all I'm interested in just setting up the index.html file and that is to include all of the necessary files so as you can see we have got these files right there so i'm just gonna paste them here so it just says ie required polyfill so we can just get rid of these because we don't we aren't using polyfills for ie then we have this load our modules comment well you need these three files for sure for your project then about this script.js let's just take a look what this should contain 
if I go back again this is our component and we'll be covering all of that stuff later on in the tutorial series we'll be covering what this ng.core is dot component what the heck is this selector template classes whatever this is but I'm not covering it right now because if we start covering it then this is not a hello world tutorial anymore so I'm just gonna copy and paste this right off and we need to bootstrap is as well and uh, yeah so here it is well bootstrap this is not the bootstrap which the Twitter has this is this bootstrapping means that you are initializing your app so this bootstrap is nowhere linked to that bootstrap of Twitter well at least for this tutorial so we are just adding this as an event listener DOM content loaded so that the page is loaded you can just even if I just change this to script.js you can just move this file right there under the body tag and you won't even need to write this line so I can change this collect selector to code dam and in the HTML I just write need to write like that and then this is kind of self-explanatory this template means that the selector would be replaced by this template and this is good enough to go alright so yeah let's just try that out in the browser so if I just open this folder right there and right there so as you can see we have written our first angular app with the JavaScript only and console logs some errors and says that you are running in development mode but um, alright so it says some sort of things as well but there's nothing to worry about because these are in the libraries we don't have modified so this is your hello world program and why not just replace it with hello angular 2 reload and you're good to go well if you look in the structure you see in the tag itself the HTML is appended so that's how you basically write a simple hello world program in angular and you could probably get rid of this as well if you want to and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i see you real soon in the next one and yeah before ending this video i would highly recommend you to go right now and watch some of the typescript tutorials if not all because I'll be probably making use of TypeScript for Angular 2 because JavaScript kind of increases the complexity of the programs when you're using um, Angular 2. But with TypeScript, we have things like add the rate import. Well, this is an ECMAScript 6 feature, but it is not implemented in the browsers yet. So we can make use of such things and it's really cool and really easy to use TypeScript as well. Well, I have a playlist. You can go back to my playlist section in YouTube and check this ECMAScript 6 or um, the TypeScript tutorial and take a look at some of those and you'll be good to go. So yeah so i'll see you then in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching